I started off my hunt watching a field where I'd set up a feeder for hogs. I was using my IR patrol to scan the field, watch for hogs and other animals, and then getting video from my IR Hunter Mark III that's mounted on my 6.5 Grindle. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. After about three hours and no hogs, I decided to go on a walkabout in Carpe Canis. Spied this coyote out by the cattle. The wind was not in my favor. And I was actually slightly backlit by the southern horizon. The sun had gone down quite a while earlier, but the horizon was still glowing. So at this point, I just waited as the coyote slowly made its way towards me. As I'm doing some testing with some Sierra tipped match king bullets, I want to wait till the coyote turns broadside before firing. Thinking the coyote's going to be stopped for a while, I did a little readjustment to get ready to fire. She turns sideways. And here we go. While she's down, her head's moving around a little more than I would like to see. So I go ahead and take a quality assurance shot. While not too bothered, those two shots seem to wake up the cattle. Turned out to be a female coyote. The second shot entering the neck below the chin. She came in at 24 pounds. The first shot through the shoulder produced a huge exit wound. Undoubtedly the second shot wasn't necessary, but it did a huge amount of damage to the back of the head. Later, after I drove into my next property, I stopped and did a quick scan, noticed this animal up on the hill, got my rifle out and set up next to the truck. You can hear the engine running. I can't tell what it is yet. And then it does this little hop right here, and that's a coyote. I changed over to Black Hot, moved about 30 yards closer. Here we go. Another female coyote. She came in at about 24 and a half pounds. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. The bullet entered the left shoulder and exited out the right side of the neck in at least two fragments as indicated by two exit wounds. The metal detector revealed there was another fragment inside that I retrieved. And here it is alongside a cartridge for size comparison.